Health Talk Live with Liz, sponsored by TriHealth. Welcome back everybody in Health Talk Live today. A hidden danger with masks that you probably don't think about if you don't need help with your hearing. Today, a quick stop to talk about it with the TriHealth Audiology team in Kenwood. Jessica is our audiologist here today, and you started noticing this kind of interesting trend, did you not, with people with hearing devices? Uh, yes, not one that we like, um, but people are losing their hearing aids because they're taking the mask off and they're forgetting that their hearing aids are there. So we're really glad that you're here to help us shine some light on this so that we can help some people not lose their hearing aids. And you mentioned uh, these are tiny devices. How many have you said that you kind of lost with these? Um, I think since March we're about over 100 hearing aids lost. So that's 100 too many. Yeah, and hearing aids can cost from? From anywhere from $300 for the replacement fee all the way up to $3,000 to replace. So when something like that falls out of your ear, I imagine that it is a bit of a panic attack and I know you can work with them, but we're trying to raise awareness. And so Bill was kind enough to sort of help us here. He's had hearing devices, he said, for about three years. You're liking them, you can hear better. Yes. But can you do me a favor? You've kind of mastered the art of pulling this on and off. So show us what we need to know. So you took that off, you didn't pull it out. Nope. But you said when you did it the wrong way, show me that. You would put it on and then you would like kind of flip it up, ah, there it goes. And then normally what would happen, it would fall on the ground? Or? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's not good. Yeah. So, you know, it sometimes will alert you if you're lucky enough to see it. But one of the reasons mm -hmm. we're talking about this is you had some recommendations which I thought were brilliant. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the couple things you recommend. Yeah. Um, we've got several different things that we can do. Um, the first thing is you could talk to your audiologist about getting a custom earpiece so that they can, the hearing aid stays in. Like Bill's hearing aid has a custom earpiece on it. It stays in place. And so it means that in the middle of his ear, mm -hmm. it'll sink yep, in it there. It holds in there. And so it doesn't pop out like right. a normal little tiny one. Ones right, that, would that be have just a dome on maybe them. Maybe like there, okay. Yep. So, and then you mentioned you have something to like clip it on? Mm -hmm. or? Um, some Oto clips are also a, a version of how to keep the hearing aid on. You put this onto the loop onto the hearing aid and then you clip it onto your shirt and so that if the hearing aid goes flying, we've still got a hearing aid on our It's kind of like those little mittens when you were a kid, you know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. When you were a kid, exactly. your mom would always mm -hmm. do that. Okay, then one last thing you mentioned yes. that you said might be a better suggestion for some people with hearing um, devices. For some, um, something like this to wear um, up around their nose and then when they take it off, it goes around their neck instead of coming off. Okay, can you show me actually? Yeah. I know you've already got the mask Absolutely. on. People not, may not be familiar. These are these little things called? A buff. Buffs, mm -hmm. and you pull them up and then you simply have it protected on your, or just below your ears, mm -hmm. but your mouth protected. Yeah. Then when you take them down, you don't have that pop mm -hmm. up. Think in there, huh? All right, we'd love to have you tell me what you're talking about, coronavirus or anything else health related you have on your mind. You can shoot me an email or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter at lbonus1.